This is our very uh, final uh, malignant lymphoma case, and I bet you're really happy. I know I am. Another nice thing about this is we have all uh, different kinds of organs here, uh, and so it looks really pretty, doesn't it? But let's start out with the gross picture, and we can see that this is a spleen, and the spleen has both red pulp and white pulp, and you know what the white pulp does, that's mostly lymphoid. And you know what red pulp is, that's mostly uh, sinuses destroying uh, red blood cells, that's why they're different colored. When a lymphoma involves the spleen, there is not only more predominance of white pulp, but the areas get bigger, like here, and then all throughout here. And it doesn't uh, anymore look like these little white islands surrounded by red. Sometimes the white lymphoid areas coalesce and become much more prominent relative to the red. And that's why the best way to diagnose a lymphoma and to spleen is to fix it very, very well, make large slices, and then look at the white pulp the next day with the magnifying glass. Here is uh, another gross picture, a picture of uh, gross organs of a liver. And in the liver, uh, you can see these little whitish areas standing out. You remember that in congestion, the central veins stand out as red areas. But in the lymphoma, the portal areas stand out as white areas because the portal areas are usually where lymphomas involve the liver microscopically in the early stages. Now, here's a nice little... Uh, a set of slides of these various uh, structures. Well, first of all, here's a kidney. You could see that instantly, uh, and you could see the glomeruli, but you can also see these infiltrates of small, dark, diffuse uh, lymphocytes. This is that same case involving the kidney. Here's a liver, and the liver has cords, as you could see, and maybe we could find some central veins if we want to use our imagination and look harder. But notice how the portal areas chiefly are infiltrated by these lymphoid cells. Lymphoid cells involve portal areas in the liver. And leukemias generally involve sinusoids and central veins. Let's move over to uh, another organ, which you'll quick, quickly recognize because you could see bone spicules. This is a bone marrow. In this case, the bone marrow is completely involved by these lymphoid cells. Normally, small, mature-looking lymphocytes should be just a couple percent of the bone marrow. In this case, it looks like it's about 100%. And last but not least, let's go to a lymph node. These are the small lymphocytes totally effacing uh, the lymph node and replacing the normal architecture of follicles on the outside and cords on the inside with diffuse, small, differentiated uh, uh, lymphocytes. This is a chronic lymphocytic leukemia that has involved all of these organs, or if you would rather say it was a small lymphocytic lymphoma that has involved all these organs that also has a leukemic uh, phase to it in the bloodstream, go right ahead because they're the same disease. And thank you very much.